Hi, welcome. It's Meredith. I'm here with our message for Tuesday. Tuesday, uh, December 17th, 2019. We are using the new Palladini Tarot for our message today. <laughs> I have a case of the giggles this morning. We've had three false starts to the reading for <laughs> very odd little happenings. All right, let's see if we can get it off the ground. <laughs> our first card, our card from the bottom of the deck. This is our potential theme in the day. Nine of Cups. <laughs> Beautiful. This is the Ace of Cups to the power of nine. Uh, you know, this is, it feels like nine divine and cosmic gifts from the universe in each cup. As I look at the card though, all right, it, it is called the wish card. So let's take a moment and put our hands over our hearts and make a wish. Go right into the very things that you are in manifestation for, that you are dreaming awake, dreaming into your reality. Yeah, nice, right? Okay. I feel I feel a bit of the unexpected on this card today. It's a message of preparation, meeting opportunity in an unexpected, surprising and delightful way today. So that's enjoyable. There's a great positive vibe to it, and there's happiness in the card. There's expanded intuition in the card, so, you know, follow your gifts today where they lead you, and be willing to say yes to something unexpected. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at our first card. We have the King of Swords holding the Ace of Swords. There's a lot of Ace energy here on the table so far. <clears throat> the King of Swords, all the kings and queens bring us the gift of their self-mastery. And this king brings order to chaos. And he has, he's got kind of a bird's eye view. He sees what's right in front of him. He sees into the periphery. And he's also quite intuitively aware of how what's going on in the now, like the King of Pentacles, pays reward forward into our long-term happiness and fulfillment. So he may have to make decisions in the now that feel somewhat out of harmony with long-term happiness and fulfillment. However, he has the clarity to make the difficult choice to create a much more expanded experience of happiness. Hmm. So we may be faced with a choice today that feels somewhat uncomfortable. However, our, our intuition is going to speak nice and loud and clear and brilliantly to us so that while we may have to make a minor sacrifice in this moment, it pays off in a major way for us. Um, at a later time. So brilliant clarity, everlasting strength there in that sword being held by the King of Swords who's bringing, who is bringing clarity to chaos or confusion. Something that has been confusing becomes very clear. Oftentimes we have uh, epiphanies when we see this card. We have the aha, oh my gosh, now I get it moment. <laughs> Coming with this king. Ooh, another king. The king of cups. Ooh, now we have harmony between head and heart. And this king holds the ace of cups. So now we've got the nine over here and the ace here in the king's hand combined together. That makes the ten of cups. So here, here's the message. This is how... The King of Swords plays 
favorably here in this position in that we may need to make a challenging and or difficult decision now that feels a bit like sacrifice, but it flows into the Nine of Cups, the Ace of Cups in this King's hand. And this King brings us great intuition and He is inspiring to our to our emotional being. He's awake, aware, alert. He feels, he senses, he knows, right? And this is a gift that's on offer to us. And when put together with this king, here again, we have head and then heart. Put together, there's great harmony. So there will be peace in the process for us. While, again, it, whatever it is for us today may feel slightly uncomfortable, it brings great fulfillment, nine, into our world. And then we have, yeah, how perfect is that? We have the death card. Hello, Scorpio. That's just it. These cards, it's so perfect. All right, so death card is simultaneous ending and beginning. And the ending is often bittersweet when we feel it, when we experience it. And that may be what is tied into what the King of Swords represents for each of us today, right? And the ending becomes bittersweet. We feel mm, maybe a little bit emotional over some kind of perceived letdown, but then we have the epiphany of, oh, aha, I see the whole picture now, and I feel, I trust my intuition, and I know that I'm being blessed at all times. So what's the blessing in this right now? The blessing is a new beginning. I'm feeling here with the death card, something's being transformed, purified, and our steps on a new path in a new direction are far more fulfilling and beautiful than we could have ever dreamed to begin with. The death card is reminding us of that today. So the white rose on the flag there is purification and the death card itself is transformation. So the ending and the beginning create a transformation that is in heart harmony with your Nine of Cups added to the Ace of Cups in the King's hand, making for you the Ten of Cups, which is fulfillment and happiness. Happy relationships, love, blessings, happy homes, happy families, good connections with our friends, our tribe, you know, it's all there. So... Stay in the brilliant clarity and everlasting strength offered to you with the King of Swords. Stay deeply connected to your intuitive gifts. Listen to that. Ride the wave of the ending and the beginning and create your Ten of Cups type of life experience. Next card. The High Priestess. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this. So, here it is. Do a little rearranging here. In the major arcana, we have the death card and the king. They are one and the same in the reading. And then in the major arcana, we have the high priestess along with the king of cups. They are the same, same card, same message. So the message in the cards confirms itself. <laughs> That's fantastic. Oh, interesting. I'm going to love to see comments on this one and how it played out for you in the day or within the week. So the High Priestess, you know, for a couple of months now, the Death Card and the High Priestess have shown up together more than once. You've got, you've got Scorpio, you've got Pisces, you've got the message that we had from a couple of months ago about how the death card was going to help us by clearing off the foundation. The high priestess was going to allow us to see through our intuitive being what was in the periphery that maybe we weren't paying attention to that really did need our attention. And so once our attention was drawn to it, we couldn't look away from it. 
and it required an investment of our precious energy, which we invested. And then the death card came in and cleared the deck for us, cleared the foundation for us. And it's the kind of brilliant clarity you have with the King of Swords and the kind of brilliant intuition and emotional awareness you have with the King of Cups that allows this to happen. So what's happening here is in small ways and then in big ways we are experiencing this. So at first it's just gaining momentum and then it's unleashed and that's how you're seeing the progression in the cards. So all of the journey work we've been doing has cleared our foundation so that we are in a receiving mode of divine and cosmic gifts from the universe for all that we've been holding in our heart space for a period of life experience. And it's coming to fruition in the nine and in the death card and in the high priestess. And we have the clarity to see it and we have the clarity to feel it. And we know it and we make it real. And that's beautiful. <laughs> All right. Angel answers. <laughs> I had a moment with a very dear, dear person yesterday that was just a lightning bolt of wow. And I feel that same feeling in these cards today. So... Be on the lookout for your wow today. <laughs> yeah, it's like that. All right, ask a question if you have one. Fresh reading in the reading or confirmation for you. And we have wait. This is allow. <laughs> allow for for me you know it's about timing my intuition speaks to divine timing we are in a receiving type of energy there's a beautiful flow going on here and all the love that we offer all the light and love that we are that we shine uh, does pay beautiful reward to us because it's what's reflect reflected back to us and what it's what is continues to show up for us so when i see a card like wait i do switch over to allow because wait sometimes feels a bit frustrating and most people can relate to that feeling allowing though has some essence of participation <laughs> Because allowing turns into our emphatic yes. <laughs> Say yes to what's on offer to you in this day. I do still feel as I look at that nine of cups that it's surprising, delightful, though unexpected. And there may be a mm, habitual response to dig in and have a little bit of resistance and say no. And the universe is inviting you to lean in and say yes. I also feel the weight card connects a bit to the ending on the death card and, you know, having to make the choice of something that feels a little bit bittersweet in the day, but then creates much more love and happiness. Ooh, I just drifted so far out. I don't even know if what I just said made sense. <laughs> okay, next card. Yeah, you're ready, more than ready. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, that's it for Angel Answers. Emphatically, yes, you're ready. So go, just go. Affirmation from the universe has our back deck. My vibes speak louder than my words. Mm-hmm. That is absolutely so, and that's what creates this beautiful Nine of Cups. This is why we're doing our love wave of manifestation here on the channel. If you haven't checked that out, just tab over to the community section on the page here. <clears throat> Pardon. 
and uh, put down your manifestations so we can all put some love on it, put some good vibe on it. I'll link the video for you at the end of this one. Have a happy Tuesday. You know it's my favorite day of the week. <laughs> there's surprise, there's delight, there's the unexpected, there's emphatic yes, you're ready. I was checking to see if there was an exclamation point on you're ready. There isn't, but I'm putting one there. Have a beautiful Tuesday, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me here. Welcome new subscribers. Thank you, existing subscribers. You're awesome. And leave comments if you are guided to. If you want your own personal reading, check the description box below. Bye for now, everyone. Peace, love, joy. A little more love and happiness. Namaste.